Mark Zuckerman, MassInSports.com. Hi, Jamer. Welcome. Um, what made this the right place for you? I know you've had a couple of weeks since the signing. What, what stood out about the Nationals? Why this was the right place for you to come to? Um, it, it, it was, it was a thank you. Thank you guys. First of all, thank you guys for having me here today. Um, it was a pleasure. And um, there was a lot of team interest on, 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 my, on my job, but I saw, you know, I saw the, the opportunity and the team that they're building right now. Um, um, the, the, you know, the, the team, I know Robles, I know a couple of the little guys over there. I know that I could bring some energy and bring some, some, some work that I have to do. And um, I just want to contribute. And uh, uh, there was a, the, one of the team that um, um, they were really interested. And we just decided that me and my agent, and it was a great opportunity playing there in Washington. And that's where we go for it. Um, David Martinez told us last week that he feels like you're a really strong candidate for a bounce back season. I know last year didn't go as well as you would have liked. What do you think the biggest difference can be that allow you to get back to the hitter that you were a couple of years ago? Um, um, I would say, um, you know, it, it's going to be a fresh, fresh, a fresh start with with a national, with a national, and I would say, um, just keep doing what I, what I have to do. I know who I am, and I know what what can I do. And this is a, right now this is a big opportunity to me for me playing playing every single day in third base. And um, there's a big opportunity for me, and and I know what 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 can do, and with David Martinez there, you know, is is a is a is a really good leader, and I know him since, since my first year in the big leagues, and um, going from there, like I said. Thank you, Jessica Camarado, NW.com. Oh, Jess, can't hear you. Wait. Oh, Gary, you're good now. You're good? Okay. Yeah, good now. Yep. Man, it's been a minute. Okay. Um, Jamer, nice to meet you. You just mentioned um, playing third base every day. I know you also play some first base as well. What makes you um, most comfortable at, or so comfortable at, at third base over your career? Um, I, I would say my routine. Uh, my routine. Um, I've been playing third base since I was a little kid. And um, I've, I'm in love with third base, but like I always said, I'll put my, 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 my best work, my routine, getting in the right way. And, you know, helping the team offensively, but defensively too. So I want to be able to be in a great position to, to be ready and help the team win. What does it mean? Sorry. What does it mean to you to be uh, reunited with Davey? It means a lot. It means a lot because in, in 2016, uh, we were champs. I was I was not in the team in the team, but I was on the roster, and I came up that year. It was a special special team, um, really good coaching staff, and he was part of it. He was a really good part of, of that team, and um, he you know when when I get to the big league, he, he gave me a lot of confidence. He talked a lot with me, and uh, you know, be being there now in Washington, he being him the leader and the manager of the team. He just bring, bring me more confidence and, um, you know, go there and have some fun, like he always said, and um, and dominate like 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 I know doing it. Thank you. Uh, Andrew Golden, or sorry, Bobby Blanco, MassaSports.com. Hey, Jamie, welcome. Congratulations. Um, you're also versatile at the plate as a switch hitter. Uh, Davey mentioned last week that he wants you to be able to use all parts of the field instead of going straight up the middle like you did a lot last year. Just <clears throat> what's your approach as a as a hitter and um, how are you effective on both sides of the plate? Actually, I have to, you know, being consistent with the strike zone, like I always said, um, I know I can hit. Um, I got to be able to be in gap to gap guy and the, the doubles and the home runs are going to come. I just gotta be able to control the zone, the strike zone, control control my movements, and um, see the ball well, and just put the ball, just put the barrel on the ball, and a lot of a lot of good things gonna happen. And for me, I just I just gotta keep it simple, uh, trying to help my team win, and that for me is really special. You led the majors in doubles two years ago. What was so successful for you that year, and how do you kind of recapture that this year? 
I was controlling really good through the strike zone. I was hitting the ball to got to gap, taking what the pitch is giving to me in the moment. And um that's I was con I was doing that consistent. And that's what that's what that's the right thing to do, and that's what I'm gonna do and be consistent, just bring that to the to the national and and be consistent with that, you know, like hitting the ball in the barrel, putting the ball on, on, on the bar, uh, the barrel on the ball, and hitting the ball the right way is is gonna allow me to to contribute and um, allow me to help the team win. Gracias. Andrew Golden, Washington Post. Hey Jammer, um, I wanted to ask about uh, your, your defense. Uh, how how would you describe your game defensively? How do you think you can kind of improve? You know, from the past. For sure, we had a young, a young, a young, a young infield. Um, you 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 have the really really good shortstop, um, and um, we we from there from there on you gotta you gotta know what what you have. If if you got a really good shortstop like we have now, now a young shortstop, he could really have some range. He knows um what he's doing on shortstop, so that give me more 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 chance in spring training, knowing my infield and know what they can do and know why why they, you know, they feel like they they struggle a little bit. So from there on, you have a good shortstop, and um me and third base just cover my my ground, and um you know um help my team win and and always um try to make the plays. We always we want to make the plays. We have to make the plays. And the big leagues, you have to make the plays. You have to make 27 outs, not 29 or or 30 outs. We have to make the plays. We have to be consistent on that. And we go from there. Yeah. And I and I think that it's gonna help you um make the plays as your routine. You have to have a routine. You have to have a mind mindset. You you always have to know that um I want the all grand balls and that's that's the mentality. So you gotta prepare yourself and um working really hard with the with a with the coaching staff and all that and it's gonna be fun. Jacob Meyer, Washington Times. Hey Jamer, welcome. Uh what is your um comfortability playing first base if you're ever asked to to move over there and, and play there? Um, it's, it's, it's just repetitions. It's all about repetition and, um, it's all about repetition and, um, it's always good to, you know, have best, best activity. If I, if I'm in third and, uh, and, you know, they ask me to play first, whatever they, they want to do, I'm at their base, but they, whatever they want to do. And, uh, I, I just want to help the team win. And I'm, I'm always going to be there to, to, to just to win, you know, if, if uh, I have to play first or third, um, I'm gonna be in my best position to to help the team win and contribute. Jesse Doherty, Washington Post. Hey, Jamer, um, do you think that the new shift rules, not as much shifts, could help you, especially from the left side of the plate? They're gonna help, not not especially only me. A lot of guys. Yeah. They're gonna they're gonna help a lot of guys because they're not gonna they're not gonna worry about oh. I have to hit the ball all the way, or I have to hit the whole, the ball to home run. It's gonna be true, and um, for 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 you know, it's all my, it's all mental, it's it's all mental, and I think it's gonna take a lot of stuff from mental side of the of the guys of the lefty hitters, and it's gonna be more free. So you're not you're not gonna to think too much. You just gotta hit the ball and see, and it's gonna play somewhere. You mentioned it being mental. So were there times in the past couple of years when you dig in the box and see a shift that it kind of got in your head a little bit? Um, no, no, no. I wouldn't say in my head. I would say like when you see the guys moving, it's like, oh, they moving. So it's like, it's like, oh, they moving this way. Why are they doing this? Or why are they doing that? So you got to hit the ball this way or that. Sometimes it, it, it want to get on you, but you just got to be able to, you know, it is what it is. I'm I'm putting the the barrel on the ball, and um, let's see what happens. But you see, you see, back um these two or three years, they've been shifting really, really hard, and um, and they've been taking a lot of hits from the guy, from the guys, and it's been really crazy. But I think it's gonna be it's gonna be natural now. It's gonna be regular, and um, we don't have to worry about that. Yeah, and then just team wide, the Tigers didn't have as much success last year as they wanted. 
Nationals lost a lot of games. So how do you maintain energy, maintain energy in the clubhouse when maybe the team isn't doing as well as it wants to? For sure, we we have to be um, free. We have to be free. We have to enjoy, it. and but um, especially we we have to enjoy. It, but nobody enjoy a lot of things when you're losing. But we have to take the the best of of the day. We have to be able to you know turn the page. We have to be able to learn how to win ball games because that's that's what we built for. In the big list, we want to win, and we gotta you we just gotta do little things to get us going and um help us to win ball games like I always said um it was a crazy year last year for the type when I was in the Tigers but I'm gonna bring that we're gonna be we I, I think if we all bring the energy to, that we're supposed to bring and you know be compete every single day um a lot of good things it can happen man and we we just need we just need good vibes and you know step in the, the the right way every single guy and i think it's going to be it's going to help a lot thanks man appreciate it thank you and uh eric horta from colon spaces good afternoon eric aguirre from con las bases llenas can i ask in spanish sure absolutely thank you uh jamer buenas tardes ¿Qué tan importante es para ti estar participando en estos momentos en el Lidón y de qué te puede servir para tu próxima temporada con los nacionales de Washington? Lidón es una, una, una bendición para todos nosotros, para nadie. Es un secreto que aquí eh, esta, esta liga es una liga muy competitiva, una liga eh, de gran provecho para el que viene a trabajar, no tan solo por el resultado, sino por todas las eh, no facilidades eh, de tecnología que hay aquí. ¿Entiendes? Eh, nos ayuda a no conformarnos tanto en, en mirar eh, estadísticas, sino en poder ganar, ¿entiendes? De una manera u otra. Y eso es lo que hemos venido eh, haciendo. Eh, eh, estamos trabajando fuerte para pasar al round robin y eso es lo que estamos haciendo ahora mismo. ¿Cuáles son tus objetivos en esta temporada de la Lidón y qué buscas mejorar para continuar y consolidarte en grandes ligas? Mejor de morar en todas las áreas, en todas las áreas, mi approach, la manera de en fildeo, en mi corrido de base, en todas las áreas. Pero lo más que me estoy enfocando es tratar de mantenerme con una energía positiva y una, una energía ganadora, que eso es lo que se busca. Muchas gracias, Jamer. Gracias. All right, anything else for Jamer? Uh, Jessica, Camarado, and we.com. Go ahead, Jess. You're freezing. There we go. Davey mentioned uh, when we talked to him what a leader you are. Sorry, can you repeat it again? Because it's, uh, it's cutting a little bit. Um, Davey talked about your leadership. Um, I think the, I, sorry, but I can, I, it's cutting a little bit. So uh, Jeff, Jeff, I'll, Jess, I'll hop in because I was there too. Davey, Davey mentioned to us out in San Diego, how much of a leader you are. So just like, what's your approach to that in the clubhouse, especially with the group of young guys? Actually, um, a leader start, a leadership starts doing the little things the right way. Um, speaking by example. Um, doing doing the stuff that I'm supposed to do, and um, we have a lot of young guys, like like Dave said. But me going there to the national the national, I have to put myself in a great position to help the young guys, uh, uh, help the young guys the right way. Um, I have to I have to bring the red, the energy, I have to bring the mindset. We win and we win, and that's 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 my mind. We we need to we need to do the, the right things to win, and that's what we're gonna do. And that's what we're going to do. So for me, just putting me in that position, I just want to be able to lead by example, you know, um, you know, treating the guys the right way. And um, for, for sure, doing my, my job. You have to do your job. If you want to be a leader, you have to do your job um, in the field and off the field. So um, I'm going to put myself in a good position to help, to help the team win. And um Whatever I have to do to help the, my, 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 my teammates, I'm going to do it. 